Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more concept in operating system that is a swapping. So in our previous session, we have started the memory management and in that memory management, we have seen different types of memories and also the difference between the logical and the physical address space and the different types of address bindings. So the conversion of a logical address to physical address. So in today's session, we will concentrate on one more important topic in memory management that is swapping. So the swapping means, so we know that the CPU will be executing the process only from the main memory. So the CPU can access the process from the main memory itself, it can execute. So if the process is available in the secondary memory, so then that should be loaded into the main memory before it gets executed. So this process of moving in and out from the main memory is called as a swapping okay so in and out of process from main memory is called swapping so where this swapping is exactly useful so this will be useful in multi programming so whenever we want to execute a multiple processes okay so multi programming so in the concept of multi programming in order to give uh, an efficient memory management so then it will be using so it improves the efficiency efficiency of memory management so it should be very careful right so the memory management is very important concept very important so for example there is a main memory okay there is a main memory so in that main memory one part will be the operating system the next parts will be the user space where uh, we'll be having the processes for example let us three uh, p4 so and the next one is a secondary memory this is the secondary memory okay i'll write here secondary memory and this is a primary memory or a main memory anything you can write okay primary memory and main memory and this is a cpu so here there are uh, different processes that are waiting for execution for example here that you be p5 p6 p7 and p8 there are four more processor waiting for its execution but already cpu is executing this process p1 p2 p3 p4 so now the primary memory so we know that primary memory will be very less in size okay very less in size so it can accommodate only the four processes. let us imagine okay four processes are being executed by the cpu so here the swapping will also improve the cpu utilization cpu utilization that is also most important because we need not so this there are there will be multiple processes that are being executed right in the multi programming so in such a case we should not keep this cpu idle because the only processor is the work to execute all these process okay the processor will execute the process so we should not make the cpu idle state so for example so there are four processes which are being executed by the cpu and now imagine if p2 is waits p2 waits for io okay i'll write here so for example p2 waits for io operation okay who will do this io operation cpu doesn't do this io operation okay cpu doesn't do do this io operations 
So who will do this? Operating system will do the I/O operations. So until the I/O operation completes by the OS, the P2 can't be executed by the processor. So one processor is in a wait state. So in a process states, we have studied about a waiting state and ready to run state. Okay, waiting state when the process process becomes to waiting state means if the process gets any interruption or if the process wants to complete the IO operation, then immediately the process will comes to the waiting state. Okay, so if the process is in waiting state, the CPU will be in an idle because among four, one is in a waiting state. Imagine instead of one in waiting state, why can't we load another process which is ready to get executed into the main memory? So instead of P2, so why can't we load P5 to execute, to complete its execution? So during the waiting time of P2. So in such a way, now what happens means P2 will be loaded back into the memory P2. So this is called swap out. So swap out. So it goes out from main memory of primary memory. So see in and out. So one process we are loading into secondary memory. We are moving the process which is being waited. Okay. So if the process is executed uh, is under the execution by the CPU. So we can't do that. So if the process is in a waiting state, so because of any IO operation or any interruptions, then immediately that process will be swapped out from primary memory to the secondary memory. Now, in this empty space, the another process will be loaded. So this is called a swap in. So meanwhile, so meanwhile means uh, during the P2 completes its IO operation, we are loading one more process to the primary memory. That is called a swap in. So incoming to main memory is called a swap in, and outgoing from the main memory is called a swap out. So why why this swap in and swap out means? So in order to avoid the CPU idle time. So we can't make the CPU in an idle state. So we must make the CPU in a busy because these mini processes are still waiting for complete its execution. Okay, now this completed. Now the next line is a P6. So if any one process among these four are still in a waiting state, for example, P4, the process 4 is having some interruption. Okay, it's having some interruption. So automatically, again, P4 will be swap out to the secondary memory swap out so this is a p4 and this is a p2 so here p4 so meanwhile p6 will be inserted into main memory this is a swap in swap in so like that whenever there is an interruption or it any circumstance if any process wants to be in a waiting state immediately that process will be loaded into the secondary memory that we are calling it as a swap out right so hope you understood and this will also be used if the process is higher size than the ram large size of process can also be executed in such a way okay so hope you understood this this one uh, swapping means in and out the main thing is in and out of process from main memory is called a swapping. So from main memory to secondary memory. So here it will be seen. Okay. So hope you understood. Right. Yes. So let's stop here. And uh, if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.